top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 30th, 2020. Heading into that Halloween. Hey, by the way, as a reminder, just remember, everyone, that this weekend we fall back in prices. You'll turn your clocks back, get an, get an extra hour of sleep. How about that? So remember that this weekend. Um, yesterday, we had a market that tried to catch a little bit of rally, trying to get a little bit of relief uh, from the selling of uh, the day before. And doggone it, um, we were waiting and patiently hoping that the big tech giants would perform extremely well and lift us out of the doldrums. And even though they did per perform considerably well, I mean, just really good reports overall, the market just kind of went uh, side a little bit because there was some nastiness in there of higher costs due to COVID um, in operating Amazon, um, although their sales were through the roof and um, Apple reported iPhone sales um, had declined, which and provided no guidance um, looking forward. And so the market just went, ugh. and um, overnight futures have been lower. They're trying hard to put on a brave face this morning, pick up off of overnight lows. But doggone it, we're not looking at a very happy market this morning. And with the uncertainty of the weekend, it might be a little bit difficult to see a path to the uh, a, a strong bullish defense def, uh, today. So let's watch, take a look at the uh, index charts. Let's watch this pretty closely and see if we can glean what we can expect today from the price action. So how about we settle in, buckle up, grab yourself something to drink, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So as we head into this Halloween, um, we still have a market that is acting a little bit spooky or spooked, I should say, just not knowing exactly what to do. And obviously we have the major uncertainty with the election just around the corner. Um, polls seem to have tightened just a little bit. And there is, of course, after last presidential election, a, a bit of untrust in what the polls uh, might um the result of those polls might be. But um, we we just have this palpable uncertainty in the market. And we know we're not going to get a, a stimulus plan now for um, at least a, a few weeks. And we know that um, as earnings continue to roll out, they've been pretty darn good. There's been a mixed bag, but there's so much uncertainty with lockdowns starting to happen in Europe and COVID numbers rising here in the United States. So there's just this uncertainty surrounding us. And it's difficult to see a path this morning for the bulls to really mount a major defense or a big relief rally heading into this weekend. It's possible, but we're gonna to have to watch this pretty closely. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart and see what we can see. Well, first off, whether we like it or not, we have to realize that the Dow broke that support level and we're going to try, and it looks like we're trying this morning. This is today's candle, the pre-market candle. We're trying to lift up and maybe test that level of resistance here today. Watch that closely. If we can break through that level, wonderful. Maybe we can get a relief rally to come into play. But let's not ignore the fact that we still have significant levels of price resistance in the chart that we have to overcome. So any rally back could really be just that rally back where we find additional selling. So watch that closely in the chart. This certainly is not a pattern that um, engenders an awful lot of confidence here in the market. And having broken through that level of support, it really makes for um, some difficult choices here for the bulls if they're going to attempt to defend. Let's also take a look at our moving averages. Now, right now, we push down in the overnight um, act, um, action, we push down here to test 
that 200-day uh, moving average and the 500-day moving average here on the chart. That would suggest a short-term oversold condition, and we would normally be expecting some kind of relief rally at this point. But with that uncertainty facing us, it, it, it may be difficult for those bulls to mount much of a defense. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be at all surprised if um, after the open we see a retest of that overnight low in the market. So be very, very careful here. Watch that closely and be careful with that whole idea of just buy the dip blindly um, because we're going to ha likely have a lot of price volatility over the next few trading days just because of the election. So watch that closely. Now, um, I did end up, um, I'll talk about um, a trade I did take on this. I mentioned yesterday in the morning video that's worked out very nicely, but let's um, move on here and take a look at the SPY. SPY um, is in a better situation as you can see technically. Um, we are holding above these lows here in September and trying to react bullishly to that. So that is a good sign. If we can hold those lows, then we could easily see that rally back up here to maybe test some resistance in the, the chart, some price resistance in the chart. Let's notice that the eight exponential moving average and our shorter term moving averages are crossing back down through that 50 day moving average. And that 50 day moving average is flattening out and starting the potential rollover. So keep in mind, even if we rally back, we may be rallying right back into price resistance. And with so much uncertainty in the next few days of trading, um, who knows how the market may react to that. Be careful. The NASDAQ, the strongest of the indexes, technically speaking, we did break our 50-day moving average. We did test it as resistance and then pull away from it. And this morning, you can see we're trying to hold the low of this big candle on Wednesday, um, trying to lift up. This is the pre-market activity going on here. We're trying to respond and hold on to that. But I got to tell you guys, it would not be a surprise for me, once again, that we retest the low of that overnight in the futures which would constitute a break of that support um, in that chart. And if we look across here, we have this price support in here that we're trying to hold on to in, in the chart. And if we can, that's a good sign we could rally back up here. If we can get those bulls to fight back hard enough, we could hold in here and then maybe rally back up into um, that price resistance of the 50-day moving average. Should we fail, however, don't be too surprised if we end up breaking down, if we fail this level right here, breaking down to maybe test that price support of uh, the middle of September. So watch that close. In IWM, IWM tried yesterday. There was a little bit of response back in some of the financials. The financials started to try and pop just a little bit. That helped a little. We also saw a little bit of relief in the oil sector stocks. So we perked back up here just a little bit. Let's take a look here. We're still challenged by that 50 day moving average. And more importantly, really right now than the 50 day moving average is all of the price resistance that we see in this chart right across this area. So watch that closely as we try to rally back up. Should we turn and go south? Wouldn't be at all that hard um, uh, or big surprise to see if we were to dip here a reach down into this price support level and that 500 day moving average trying to uh, gain a little bit of price support if we do happen to tip lower. Watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX um, is getting a little bit of a pullback um, or it did try to get a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but notice it wasn't substantial. So we broke this downtrend here in uh, the VIX. And what that puts us in is that situation that any rest or pullback in here that finds some support could certainly bring in um, some more fear in the market 
and spike that up. We're going to have to really watch these coronavirus numbers. We're going to have to watch these election results. Um, hopefully some of that uncertainty will come out of here, but notice that would constitute an upside trend in the fear on the VIX. So watch that carefully. Certainly if you're an options trader, the price volatility in these options is extremely high. Uh, closing up here in the 30s, that means there's an awful lot of risk in buying up options because of the high high implied volatility costs that you're going to have to pay for the time value of those options. Of course, stock traders don't have to deal with that, but the price volatility itself has been very, very challenging for those stock traders. And um, that uncertainty, we may see a wave of selling heading into the close today. Wouldn't be at all surprised if we do see a wave of selling heading into the close just to unload some of that uncertainty heading into the weekend. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now T2122 did catch a little bit of a bounce yesterday on that little bit of bullish activity that we saw in the market. We tried to lift that up. But I have to tell you guys, it it's, wasn't enough to really be all that impressive. And notice we can do these kind of things, bounce up and turn right back lower. So keep that in mind. Um, should we um, retest those overnight lows, we could see that T2122 back down here heading into the weekend. If we can get that bullish defense, if they line up and really support some of these low prices in the chart and trying to pick up some bargains, then we could see that rally back up um, in into this Friday. But just watch that closely. There's likely going to be a lot of back and forth and price volatility to deal with. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Um, and see what we've got going on there. Today, we have something that we want to pay attention. Well, a few things we want to pay attention to. We have personal incomes and outlays here this morning. We'll want to watch that closely. If we take a look at consensus, that's going to come out here um, at 8.30 a.m. this morning. Taking a look at consensus, we're looking for a minor improvement in that number. And if that does improve, we could see that help our markets overall. Like yesterday, we saw that nice improvement in the GDP and jobless claims, and that helped perk those uh, markets up a little bit yesterday. So watch that closely. We'll also get the, the numbers from employment costs, Chicago PMI, and consumer sentiment. These numbers here will be less important than this one, but we certainly want to pay attention to that today. On the earnings calendar, we have about 100 companies reporting earnings, and we do have a significant number of notables that we want to pay attention to. Um, if you want to check out um, the morning blog where I list all those potential notables, click the link just below the title of this video, and it'll send you back to the blog where you can take a look at that. So we're going to hear from companies like CVX this morning. CVX, that's going to be an interesting report to watch for. Obviously, um, oil sector has been very challenged here and um, it's going to take a while for these companies to recover. So keep an eye on some of those oil sector numbers. It's going to be rather interesting. We're going to hear from Altria, one of those big old um, defensive sector type companies reporting today. Uh, looks like this morning it is trying to perk up, but certainly still in significant downtrends here in the chart. So lots of trouble here yet to overcome in Altria. How about um, CL, Colgate Palmolive? Um, nice little pop here coming in this morning. Must have had a pretty decent report perking up here. Notice we still have to challenge that downtrend for the breakout and the resistance in this chart to get through that. But it's nice to see that we're getting a perk up in some of these defensive sector stocks. And we could get a little bit of a rotation happening toward those defensive sector stocks just simply because of the dividend yield and a little bit of a reach for some safety um, overall. Let's take a look. Uh, Goodyear Tire is also reporting this morning. So far, not saying much in the price action here. Um, notice that Goodyear Tire is dealing with some price resistance in the chart. Um, a good report could pop us on through. Uh, a failure here could actually send us in down into a selling wave. So watch that one closely. Um, how about Honeywell? 
Honeywell will be reporting today. Not seeing much price action here on that just yet. And also keep in mind, this is still dealing with significant levels of price resistance in the chart as they report. We have broken that uptrend for now. So a failure here could um, bring in those bears on Honeywell. Hopefully that doesn't occur. Um, we will also see um, a report from Warehouser. It looks like they have already reported this morning. And we've got a nice bullish response here on Warehouser. Kind of an interesting chart here now. Um, we have a significant resistance high up here. We're trying to breach that downtrend in this chart and bounce off of this support with a bit of a morning star type pattern. So there may be some future here, uh, bullish future here in Warehouser. Keep an eye on that one today. So make sure you go back to the blog, check some of those other stocks that we'll be reporting today. Also keep in mind that we have a huge number of earnings coming at us next week as we continue through this um, fourth quarter earnings cycle. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But guys, before we do that, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Please remember that the purpose of these videos is not to provide a prediction, not to provide any hype. Um, it's to really look at the technicals of the chart and try to determine how we want to approach the market for today. And that's the way I've, I've used it. I've, I've been able to support myself and my family for 15 years as a full-time trader with this kind of work. And if you find that helpful, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up um, uh, button and also leave a brief comment and please feel free to share this video with any folks out there that you think might have some interest. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember that any of the stocks that I bring up in the video that there is um, no recommendation to buy or sell any security. These are just charts to pay attention to, maybe put on a list and decide whether or not they fit you. You guys remember yesterday I mentioned Twitter that I had placed an alert on Twitter and doggone it. Um, I, if you notice that my alert was right in here and I also had this line in the chart which related directly to some resistance in this chart. I had a question last night in a class that I taught, how far back do you go to look for price resistance? And I gotta tell you, as far back as I need to go to find that price resistance. And isn't it interesting after the Twitter report, that resistance definitely played a role in the price action of this chart. You can see Twitter gapping down substantially. Yesterday, that resistance level held that chart ugly, ugly um, um, opening this morning here on Twitter. So be very, very careful and always pay attention to support resistance and trend in the chart. They are extremely import important and they do affect how the price of the, of the stock um, responds. Let's take a look at Roku. Now Roku continues to hold up. Now this guy, doggone it, earnings, I hate earnings. I hate the way they um, mess up everything in a chart. So we have this really nice little tight consolidation forming up here in Roku. As you can see, we're, we're bound in what I call a pop out of the box type pattern as we slide over to um, try and engage this trend. Now, unfortunately, that earnings report could change everything here, meaning that we could get a substantial gap up or a substantial gap down around that earnings report. But I keep watching this pattern here, thinking that there may be an opportunity if those bulls can step in and push us up. I have a price alert on this chart. If those bulls can step in and start pushing it up, there may be an opportunity to uh, catch a trade here in Roku to rally toward that earnings report. We'll have to wait and see. With the uncertainty that we face this weekend and, and early next week with the election, there may not be that much inspiration in that chart. Um, I also want to point out FCX. Now, FCX, I did pick up FCX yesterday, and it is the only trade I picked up um, yesterday besides some hedging moves, but um, the only trade, and honestly, I don't want to probably do much trading today just simply because of the risk of this weekend. 
but keep an eye on FCX. It popped up here, starting to show a little bit of bullishness. I went in with a small trade here. That doesn't mean that you should, or you should even think about following. Keep in mind, there is resistance in this chart back here in the past. I just kind of have the belief that there's a pretty good story for copper right now and I'm um, watching that closely. So could have been a bad decision, might be a good decision. Let's watch that in FCX. You might also want to keep an eye on NIO. Now NIO just went like a rocket yesterday, popping hard, um, breaking up through this 30 area. Now to give you an explanation of my trade here, I bought a thousand shares of NIO on that candle when it broke this alert. And um, I actually sold a 30 strike call against that thou or calls against that um, thousand shares. So right now I run the risk of being called away here at 30 on those thousand shares. And I would be really tickled if that did occur. <laughs> so if that can continue to show this bullishness, that would be fantastic. And I added another thousand shares to this trade on this nice little resting pullback bullish um, candle here in the chart. And um, you can see that is playing out well. Yesterday on this big move, I sold the 35 strike call against that thousand shares in this position. So I have a very nice profit building in this trade and uh, looking really good. But I wouldn't want to chase this after such a big move yesterday. Watch and wait. Let's see if we can get a little rest or consolidation in here. Slide over here toward this trend, maybe even pull back toward that trend. And then we have that opportunity to catch that next entry signal. This has been a very strong upside trend. Keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Day. I want to wish you a wonderful Halloween and a great weekend. Remember, we have the time change this weekend. Be safe out there, guys. Those COVID numbers continuing to rise. Be careful, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Everyone.